So you meet someone new and they say to you, I'd like to buy you a cup of coffee. I have a few questions I'd like to ask you about getting into, can I pick your brain for a few minutes? So what do you say? I'll be right back with some suggestions. Hey, I'm Havlin Maxwell from HavlinMaxwell.com, and I am a business coach for freelancers and small business owners, and I help you gain more clarity, attract more clients, and ultimately, ultimately live with more confidence. So if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe. I'm going to have weekly-ish emails to give you tips on how to navigate living in, um, and being confident as a business owner. All right, so today's topic is, can I pick your brain? Can I pick your brain? I know that you had that a million times. I have too, but I've got some suggestions for you that I hope that you'll put into practice that will help you feel more comfortable when someone asks you that question. One of the easiest things you can do, and this is via email or in person, if a person asks you, uh, can I pick your brain? Just reply to them, well, what questions do you have? Because here's the deal. This forces that person to get very clear, very quickly on what they want from you. And they might want something where you already have a product in place that you can give to them, or you already have a freebie that you can direct them to. You already have a, a blog post you can direct them to, where you can just easily send them the information that they need. But it forces them to be very clear, and it forces them to respect your time also, because they're going to know, like, hey, she's not playing around, or he's not playing around, and she's getting right to the nitty gritty. Let me hurry up and ask this question, so I'm not wasting a lot of time. So that's the first thing you can do. The second thing you can do for when someone wants to pick your brain or if you have this happen often is you can actually schedule time in your calendar where you donate time, donate like pick your brain time once a month. So you can say to that person, hey, I have time that I already allot for pick my brain sessions. It's at the end of the month from the 25th to the 30th. You can go to my website and you can claim a spot there. That's the only time I do those kind of sessions, but otherwise, if you need help, what do you need help with? This way, they can go and schedule the time. You can just set it up through one of the um, scheduling systems that are out there. Easy peasy, done. The last thing you can do is set up paid pricing, paid sessions, basically. So if someone asks you to pick their brain, you can say, hey, I have a pick my brain tab on my website and it's $30 for 30 minutes or $50 for 50 minutes. Whatever you wanna do, go ahead, add the button there and they can ask away. Make sure they send you the questions before your session begins and that way forces them to kind of just get the questions out there and they can pay for your time because here's the deal. In this last example, People are paying for all of the studying you have done. They're paying for all the research you have done. They're paying for all the time that you've spent honing your craft and learning your craft and all the blood, sweat, and tears that you put into your business. So you absolutely are allowed to pay for, ask for payment for that. So don't get it twisted. Don't let anyone make you feel bad about that. Listen, if you want to add that, pick my brain, pay me now kind of thing on your website, absolutely do that. So when you get those questions, you can just send them the link and chances are they'll schedule it if they're serious. Uh, I've had a lot of people who say they want to pick my brain, but when I send them the link, it's like, it's like crickets, you hear nothing. So those are folks who are really, really serious. But if you really want to donate your time, go ahead and, and choose the, the option I just talked about and donate your time if you want to. But don't feel bad about asking for payment for someone to pick your brain. All right, I hope these tips have been helpful for you. Again, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to sign up for my newsletter, uh, I put that in the link below. So I have more tips for you via email that will go right to your inbox if you'd like those. All right, take care, be encouraged, and I'll see you next time.